Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be taste testing a new flavor. Yes, it is the... Habanero Kimchi Jjigae flavor. So, let's get started. And here it is. You can see this. these are all very sealed very well. I'm going to remove the seal and then we can see everything properly. So here it is, the Habanero Kimchi DJ flavor, which is the instant noodles soup right here, you can see. And on this side, savory taste temptation. This does not have the halal certified logo anywhere on it. On their website, it is mentioned it is halal, so they are selling it as a halal product. And on this side, you can see, this is not the ghost pepper. This is the orange habanero, which is a 350,000 Scoville heat unit for pepper. So this is the spice level we are expecting. The ultimate Korean spicy sensation with irresistible chewy noodles. And on this side, you will always see all the ingredients listed for the noodles and the seasoning sauce, as well as the nutritional facts. And on the box, you will always get to see the preparation instructions. And this is also microwave safe. So please feel free to microwave this. So it says over here, peel here. Okay. I usually have to peel all the way through because I'm showing you the contents of this packaging. But you have to peel it till here. So let's see what goodies awaits us. Mm. Nice goodies. As usual, we have a plastic fork with just a click. You get yourself an instant fork. So fancy. Alrighty. Next up, we have the seasoning sauce. Ew, it looks so hot. I love how the seasoning packets always match the colors of the packaging itself. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> that's odd. <coughs> the seasoning sauce contains water, permitted flavoring substances, fish sauce, meat flavor contains gluten soybean. It doesn't specify which meat. Sesame oil, kimchi flavor contains fish, contains MSG, disodium guanylate and disodium inosinate as permitted flavor enhancers. Spices, garlic powder, chili powder, habanero chili powder, sugar, maltodextrin, salt, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, contains soybean, yeast extract, glycine, contains acidity regulator, lactic acid, citric acid. Stabilizer is your usual guar gum as permitted food conditioner and it also contains sesame powder which contains sesame. This is the garnish, dried flakies, condiments, it's written on it. No need for scissors, this has a cut in the packaging itself, so you can easily take out all the garnish without any worries. The garnishing contains dehydrated kimchi flakes, contains crustace crust crustaceans. Oof, what is this word? I'm still saying it wrong. Crustacean dehydrated chives, dehydrated chili rings. And then we have the noodles. Oh, the noodles are finally yellow. Yay. This is what the noodles look like. So the noodles ingredient are wheat flour, contains gluten, palm oil, contains permitted antioxidant, butylated hydroxy toluene, tapioca starch, potato starch, Salt contains stabilizer, sodium polyphosphate, sodium carbonate, and guar gum as permitted food conditioner, as well as riboflavin. Okay, so now that we have dissected this packaging thoroughly, let's get to the kitchen and cook this up. Follow me. So everyone, we're here in the kitchen. Here is the boiling pot, ready to go. We have the chili sauce, we have the garnishing flakes, we have the noodles ready, and let's start. To this, we're going to add the garnishing. The water is coming to a boil. Another thing is we're not going to be draining the water this time. It's just going to be all the water, condiments and sauce. Okay, cover this up. Leave this for four to five minutes. See you then. Okay, time's up. Now let's add the chili sauce. This is going to be very on the soupy side. 
And there you have your noodles. I am not going to be plating this because that is just very soupy. I'm going to be keeping it in the cup and let's enjoy it from the cup. Seriously, I'm hearing meow. I have to go and check. Be right back. Okay, so here is the creamy treat. And then some other treats. I do not have cat food. I just have these treats. Okay, I'm going to put water in the other one. So I've decided to call him Cheeto. Cheeto, you're too cute. Cheeto, come out. <laughs> come on, no. Cheeto, come be a good kitty. Come. There's a good kitty. <laughs> good Cheeto. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Enjoy your breakfast. Okay, so let's try our noodles. I'm going to be trying it in the cup this time. I can see why the, the cup noodles are so popular because it's just like so cozy. <coughs> that is spicy. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kimchi flavor is kind of there. I can taste something very fermented and very vegetable stuff as well because of all the garnishing. But the noodles are really sad. I mean, they're chewy, they're bouncy, they're firm. But I don't know, there's just some sadness to the noodles that a cup noodle has. Even though it's very spicy, it's not like ghost pepper. Ghost pepper was oof. Could not eat it. That is so good. That is actually good. Mm. The diving board. The habanero kimchi jjigae soup noodles aims to showcase the authentic flavors of kimchi jjigae, which is a kimchi stew of Korea aims at those who enjoy the sourness and spiciness of traditional Korean kimchi stew that offers the satisfaction of a soupy spice heat sensation. Please do try this, you will not regret it. Seriously, very good. Uh, this is what you need for a cold day, uh, really good. I don't think I've ever been happy with a spicy noodle like before. I can eat all of this. We'll try it again. We'll recommend to everyone. Yay! Finally, a spicy noodle that I like. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, we know, it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, a lot of is. Bye! Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.